Hello, I'm a TrackSmart customer success coach, here to show you how to set up your accruals feature, which is available with PowerTrack in PowerTrack Plus. This video will show you how to set up your new accruals-based time off plans and get your employees switched over to begin accruing time. Start off by logging into TrackSmart and clicking Preferences at the top of the page. Once you're in Preferences, click the Time Off Plan section. To create your very first time off accrual plan, click the green button, Add a new plan. In Step 1, Create Plan, begin by naming your plan, adding a description of the plan, and setting up the details for earning time off. If you need to create more than one plan, we recommend starting with the one assigned to the most employees first. In this example, I'm going to create an employee plan and say this plan is assigned to all employees. After you create a name and a description, you can begin setting up your levels. Start by clicking Set Start Date. You then have the option of choosing to begin accruals from the employee's hire date or after the hire date. In this example, I'm going to use the hire date. Once selected, click Save to continue. Next, I want to set up the rate and schedule. How often do my employees accrue their time off and how much do they accrue? You have the option of weekly, monthly, or yearly. I'll stick with weekly and say my employees accrue 1.8 hours every Friday. Once selected, click Save to continue. Now, I want to set up my benefit year. Will it start on January 1st, a custom fiscal year, or the employee's anniversary date? I'll go with January 1st. Once selected, click Save to continue. Select whether you want remaining available balances to carry over from one benefit year to the next. If yes, choose yes. If no, choose no. In this example, I'll keep it as yes. Once selected, click Save to continue. Finally, I need to set a maximum balance, if I have one. Is there a maximum cap that my employee can accrue? You can choose to limit it to a specific number of hours or no limit. I'm going to limit it to 100 hours for this plan. Once selected, click Save to continue. Now, if your company tracks accruals based on the length of employment, what you do here is click Add a new level. To set the start date, you choose the amount of time they must work before they hit the next tier. In this example, I'm going to say, after three years, this employee will hit this level and will accrue three hours every Friday now instead of 1.8. For benefit year start, I'll choose the same rules and carryover as well. But for maximum balance, now that they're accruing more time, I'm going to set a higher balance for the maximum number of hours. If I have more tiers for length of employment beyond three years, say five years, I can set that up by clicking Add a new level. But in this example, I'll keep it short. Once you're done with step one, Click Save and continue to the next step. Step 2 Assign Step 2 is an optional step where you can assign your plan to your employees and their time off banks. When you set balances, you have two choices. You can either keep the current balance, which leaves the balance you have in the system unchanged and accrues on top of that. If you choose to recalculate the balance, it will determine how much time has been accrued from the employee's hire date and show what that balance would be today. If you choose this option, we recommend you run the Time Off Balance Comparison Report. This will give you the balance you have in the system today and compare it to what it will be if you've chosen this option. Once you're finished with Step 2, go ahead and click Save and Continue to move to Step 3. Step 3 Review Step 3 gives you a chance to review your selections in Steps 1 and 2 before creating and assigning your plan. Please note that employees will not accrue time off until a plan has been assigned to their banks. You can run their time off summary to see which employees and their banks have assigned plans. Once you've completed your review, click the Save button. Now we're going to take a look at a very important report called Transaction Detail. Before we do, let's take a quick look at Adjustments. Adjustments can be found within the Time Off Plans tab of Employee Profiles. 
Making an adjustment allows you to correct employees' available balances just by adding or subtracting from it. Start by choosing the date you want the adjustment effective. Then, select whether you'd like to add or subtract the time. Then, choose which time off bank this adjustment will affect. And enter any notes. Once completed, click the Save button. Now that I've created an adjustment, let's run a transaction detail report to view all the details. The transaction detail report displays all transactions affecting your employees' time off banks. Some example transactions are time earned from a time off plan, time deducted for absences, adjustments made, and carryovers. That's it. If you have any questions, email us at support at tracksmart.zendesk.com or call 877-457-4855. Thanks for watching.